just the week late then. If you are seeing this video clip, it must have worked because I am recording this on or starting this on Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday Fly Day and I've really got to do something about it. If you've been paying attention, you'll know that I lost my DJI charger. But da -da -da -da, this has happened. I found the thing. Of course, it was in a cooking pot right by the front uh, door of the garage. Of course it was, having taken the garage apart. If I've got a bit of video clip of that, maybe I'll insert that. Insert video clip appropriately. Every single box and thing. I move this table and there lies the DJI charger, not mm, 60 centimeters from the door. What, almost two weeks later? So anyway, what else? What else has happened? Well, in looking for the charger for the DJI Phantom so that I can go out and take images of cows as soon as I finish doing this, because things are charging up, I found other things. The other things I found in particular these little bitty little tiny motors can you see that they are or well, that is a reads it from the back it's a 2204 2300 uh multi-star elite and i have no idea why i bought that i think i do know i bought these i think i bought these as spares for uh for his uh this one's racing quad but I think uh, they, uh, they that we haven't had to use them. So so that's cool. So I've got these. So of course, Friday, Friday, I'd better make something today, stroke tomorrow. So if you're watching this, then it's worked. And this is where I'm starting. That Wintra thing, Wintra, PPK, and other VTOLs have got me. Well, I, 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 find, I don't think I can talk about a subject unless I've flown it and I know it. So best, best I try and, and make another. You may have noticed in other videos I did uh, make one uh, with a flight test spear but it was so heavy I, I just didn't like it I didn't like it at all so let's see if we can um, scale it down a little bit get it I don't think I'm going to get it under 250 grams and um, first of all uh, before I do anything else um, I'll put a bit I'll, I'll make a video of it but I've, I've got to oh, over here that's what it is I've got to give this a learning I've got to I've got to tell this that it's this pixel that it's coming back into use now if I really did want to go super light, and I must wait, I must wait for the grown-ups at RG Pilot to, to, to get it done. But in future, I'll be able to use something like this. Now, what was this? This is a Sparky 2. And the Sparky 2, look, that's got radio and all built in. So that that way, I might be getting towards a homemade sub-250 VTOL. We shall see. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for Friday, Friday. Or well, that's the plan. That's the plan. A Friday Back fly to the day. GPS. This GPS on this Pixel hasn't flown for about a year. It's always a good idea with uh, stuff you haven't used for a while or new stuff to let it sit out in the sun for a while. It'll hear the satellites it can hear and it'll update its almanac. It takes about 15 minutes. That almanac contains data on positions, the latest data on positions of all the satellites in the constellation. And after doing this, your GPS will get a fix quicker. This is a week later from when I said I'm going to start an idea. I didn't finish it on the Friday um, for, for various reasons. One of the uh, various reasons is we went and did this. And then and then, and then I finished it and then I've crashed it. There'll be a short video clip where Dan got the one before. But what I realised was I missed one of the cardinal rules of, of modern things. I didn't put any carbon fibre in so I put some carbon fiber in this morning uh, this morning being what is this morning Thursday and and we'll we'll try again just a couple of things to fix before I even got the electronics on it I realized I'd made mistakes and I was rushing to try and get it done by last Friday and that was foolish the control surfaces for instance they're way too small if you look at the wing tray they're about a third the length of the uh, the wing and uh, I also had the center of gravity wrong to start with and you'll see this in this inadvertent transition that's just about to happen and I had to well I had to fly out now I was committed and I was bringing it back home in time for tier medals and I dumb thumbed it on the way back forgot it was a VTOL shot the throttle to glide in and that didn't work did it but it really this is testament and this is now after having put it back together after that crash 
and put the carbon rod in there's more hot glue in this thing now than there is than there is foam but really this is what I wanted to say is testament to the power of the code and that's the code uh, from the RG pilot project running on this old Pixhawk um, that's where the magic is here it's not me but it's given me the confidence to have a go at um, designing a version 2 having a better go this is remember this is bodged together parts I found uh, foam and, and hot glue um, so all power to uh, the RG pilot developers uh, I have some log files to look at now and I will consider some more design designing. Yeah, it sounds about right for that battery. We'll try again, but... Hold on, I'm going to manoeuvre because it's not so great lighting from this side. That's a bit better. I think I got that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. It was gliding.